Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley, and in this video I'm going to be giving some tips and tricks about the Bursa Thunder 22. Now the Bursa Thunder, um, this is a gun I reviewed like kind of when I first started my channel. And lots of people have been asking me questions about this gun. Kind of like, um, what, what kind of ammo would I recommend? How do I avoid malfunctions and jams? Um, how do I take it apart, etc. So first of all, the gun has no ammo in the magazine. And it's completely empty. No round in the chamber. So we are safe. Now this is a really fun little pistol. Um, but it does have some important things you should know about it in order to operate it pr um, properly. First of all, let's talk about the ammunition for this gun. Um, without, a lot of people don't really read, kind of, uh, I think it says it in the, in the pamphlets or the manuals that it comes with, but this gun requires high velocity ammunition. Now, the ammo that I've used with this gun and had perfect, flawless, um, operation with is the CCI Mini Mag, um, 22 long rifle it's high velocity ammo and if you use regular bulk ammo that you buy um, in like a box of 1000 or 500 rounds it doesn't have enough power to cycle the round through the firearm effect um, effectively and so what that will do is when the bullet after the bullet is shot it'll get stuck and it will just be jammed or stove piped in there. So make sure when you're using the Burst of Thunder 22, you use high velocity ammo so the bullets can eject properly. Um, that's important because I've seen a lot of people shooting this gun and they say, hey, how come it jams every other shot? It's because you're using the crappy bulk ammo. Now I know a lot of people kind of get mad about that. They're like, well, my gun should you." be able to use any kind of ammo, it doesn't matter. Um, in a sense, that might be true, but um, that's just not the case for this gun. This gun was made for high-velocity 22 long rifle ammo. And like I said, the ammo that I prefer are the CCI Mini Mags. CCI is great ammo, and that will let this gun cycle properly and not jam. So, now that's out of the way, the, as long as you're using the correct ammunition and, um, like I said, high velocity ammunition so it can cycle, then you should be good to go. Another thing I want to point out is, to disassemble this gun, all you have to do is, on this side, you push this little tab down right here. And then you pull back and then you lift out. So I'm going to do that one more time. You push that down right here. You, you rack the slide and then you pull back. And then you push forward and the slide it comes off like so. And now you can clean the gun and do whatever you need to with it. Um... One of the things I wanted to kind of point out in this video is um, the spring, I guess the recoil spring, has two sides. There's one side that's bigger than the other. This side is bigger. And you can know that when you slide the spring onto the barrel, if it's loose like that, that's the wrong side. And the gun will malfunction and jam. But if it's tight on there, like this, see how it's hard to get on there? That means that's the right side, and that's, um, that's how you can know that it's fitting the right way. And so, if you accidentally take apart your gun and you put it on this way, with the loose side on, it's probably going to jam and malfunction. So that's my second tip I, second tip I have for operating the uh, Burst of Thunder 22. And then to put it back in, you just go like that, bring it back. Hold on, sorry, my 
trying to make sure I'm getting this on camera. And also you have to push this down right here. You have to push that down to make it go back on the slide. And then after you do that, put the magazine in. Drop the safety, sorry, right there, and then it's good to go. So the reason it, the slide wasn't coming back was because I had the safety on. Anyways, my third tip for running the Burst of Thunder 22 flawlessly is making sure it's well lubricated and cleaned after every time you shoot it. I don't know if you can tell... It's kind of sunny outside, so you should be able to see, but this thing has been oiled and cleaned very frequently. Well, after every time I shoot it, um, it's been oiled and cleaned. And one thing I notice is that every time, um, I just notice that I have less malfunctions and less jams if the gun is properly lubricated. <laughs> Anyways... I just thought I'd make this video because I've had literally probably 20 people message me and ask me about the Bursa, Bursa Thunder because apparently it, it is kind of a popular pistol. So, um, yeah, and I think I think it's an Austin pistol. If you follow those three rules, um, you should be, uh, this gun should perform flawlessly for you. So I'm going to go over those again. Number one, use the right high velocity ammo, high quality, high velocity ammo. Number two, make sure the recoil spring is on right. Number three, make sure the gun is well lubricated and clean. And I would say, um, number four, expect a break in period. Now, if you, um, I've heard people saying that they've followed all those steps and they still get jams. But then after they shot 200 rounds through it, it performed flawlessly. Just note that some guns do have a break-in period. And don't expect them to work 100% out of the box until you've shot a couple hundred rounds through them. So that's about it. Um, I just wanted to make this video about the Burst of Thunder. And hopefully I can have it out at the range for you guys pretty soon. And I will see you guys next week.